Hi parents, um, my name is Kate Carraway and I am the science teacher for 6th grade, then the 7th grade girls, and also for about half of the 8th graders. I just wanted to give you some general information about why we're going to use a Gmail account and uh, how we're going to incorporate that with our content. First of all, um, having a Gmail account is helpful for things like sharing documents. This is a, a screenshot here of a Google Doc and the way this is amazing um, for example if I am presenting here on energy conducting this presentation students can go over here to this um, there'll be a button here when others are on it and they can chat or enter chat questions that they may have um, and I'll be able to see who asked that question so Google Docs is a big plus for that. Um, I can show you how I use mine. A lot of times I will input a lesson into either a presentation or just get a document started and have students finish filling it out as an assignment. So having them access to Google Docs is a huge plus. plus. Um, also through uh, Gmail, if your student will have a Gmail account. This is probably one of my favorite features. Um, down here I have there's a chat box and so what can happen is if your child is at home and they cannot they have a question that they cannot answer I am usually on my computer um, most of the time because of my graduate school work so they can uh, just give me a call and you know uh, have a face-to-face -face video chat um, with me. Um, thirdly, and probably the most important, is the blogger. This is a picture of a blog that I have going um, and how we're going to use a blogger this year, students are going to input their science article reviews into the blogger. And because blogger is um, Google's answer for a blogging site, students can use that single password and login name to create their blog. Um, this way too gives kids the ability to publish work for a larger audience. Um, they can use a first name, they can use um, an initial, and by no means do they have to use their first and last name and throw their social security number out there. It, um, and on the dashboard um, you can go to settings and you can manage manage who can see who gets to see everybody so down here anybody um, only people I choose or only blog authors so the kids could do only people I choose and then send me an invite to their blog and I could grade their work like that no one else has to see it so that's a, a third way that it can be done now if you aren't sure still about how you feel about creating the Gmail and Google account, there are some ways to get around it, and those are listed on the web page below. Um, I understand your concerns, and I want to work with you to keep your children as safe as possible. So if there's questions that I have not answered and um, some help on how to do it, uh, feel free to email me again. Um, and I guess that's all I have to share. All right, thank you for your time, and I look forward to working with you this year.